Welcome back to Worst Engines or Not, or in today's case, today we are going to talk about the very strangely highly requested Northstar 4.6 liter engine. If you have ever owned one of these, I am so sorry. If you are looking for one, I cannot help you. And if you are still driving one, Godspeed. Interestingly enough, we actually found one in the depths of our warehouse. So let's open her up. <coughs> Here she is in all of her glory. This is GM's first dual overhead cam V8 engine design. It was considered very technologically advanced for its time. Aluminum block, aluminum cylinder heads, and it was put in a variety of different applications from 93 all the way up until 2011. These engines are notorious for problems. Let's talk about some of them first and probably the most well-known of the issues is the cylinder head bolt. So these cylinder head bolts are what you call TTY bolts, torque to yield bolts. And in short, what this means is that they can only be torqued down once and then they stretch out and then they cannot be used again. And so we all know that with the heating of the engine, the bolts are going to stretch out a little bit. The other thing about these is that they don't contract once they cool down. So they are one and done. Once they have been used, you cannot use them again. And once they have been stretched out, the he cylinder head starts to loosen up on the unit and eventually that's going to cause your head gasket to start leaking or to blow. Another issue here is going to be oil leaks from everywhere all the time but generally in two main locations. Number one location is gonna be your rear main seal. Up until 2000, they did not press in the rear main seal. So eventually that friction that the crank turning causes caused these seals to leak. They started pressing them in after 2000. Consumers still report the same problems, but... And the other location is gonna be the valve covers. Hairline cracks occur right where the bolts are and eventually those turn into bigger cracks and eventually those cracks start to leak oil. These engines have been known to consume a lot of oil and to burn a lot of oil, sometimes one quart per 500 to 1,000 miles. The cause of this oil burning and oil consumption is likely due to a design flaw in the piston rings. So the grooves in the piston rings are prone to carbon buildup. Um, once you've got carbon buildup, they likely will get stuck, which means they are not able to clean the cylinder walls the way that they are meant to. And eventually you're going to get oil blow by in your crankcase and all of that is going to start burning off in your combustion chamber and your engine isn't going to be able to circulate or ventilate the way that it's meant to. Your engine will eventually be starved of oxygen. And since this is actually a design flaw in the piston rings themselves, it's not something that can necessarily be changed with an upgraded apart. So this is gonna happen over and over. This problem was supposedly corrected in the 2000s. However, in the early 2000s, there still was issues with carbon buildup on the inside of the cylinder wall. So the same oil burning and oil consumption problems continued to occur. The list of other items that are wrong with this engine is pretty lengthy. Premature water pump failure, premature oil failure, cooling issues, oiling issues, the list just goes on and on. It is a fireable offense here at Powertrain Products to sell one of these units. If you have the choice, I would stay very far away from them.